according to Simon Esunget, the URA Customs Manager at Entebbe Airport, the regulations for unmanned aerial vehicle 2022 provide a legal framework for owners to take back their drones if they are unable to fulfill the requirements. Unlike a few that abandon them in the facility where the authority auctions them after two months or destroy them. In the event that you have failed to obtain the required clearance, and then um, Customs gives you opportunity to return this drone on your flight back when you're going back to where you're coming from. And so that has been the common scenario here. Most of the clans have been taking back their drones. And in fact, a majority of them go back, they leave the drone here with us, and then on their next flight, they come and collect. And the Civil Aviation Authority's public affairs manager, Vian Luja, told NTV about the procedures to follow before importing a drone. Uh, once customs, the branch of URA at the airport, gets information about a drone, they pass on that information to Uganda Civil Aviation Authority. And once we get that information, we communicate in writing to the Chief of Defense Forces. Once the CDF gets that communication, they undertake an evaluation and they communicate back to UCA in writing, either rejecting or approving importation of that drone. Once we receive the communication from CDF's office, we communicate back to URA Customs with a copy to the applicant. And if they have been given a no objection, the applicant can then proceed with the other customs payment processes. The process looks long and complicated, but Luja says they intend to make it digital for quicker access to services. The civil aviation says it's aware that drones have been smuggled into the country, but owners could fall captive to the regulations. That is why we are looking at sensitizing the public so that they know hmm, what awaits them in the event that they are found utilizing this equipment. Even upon completion of import procedures, anyone who flies a drone into airspace needs more clearance from UCA and this will come at a cost. Once a no objection is received from the CDF's office, we communicate it to the applicant who then can proceed to pay a fee of 250,000 Uganda shillings plus VAT of 18% and then we undertake a safety assessment. The authority says they will sensitize the public about use of drones. Kamana Ivan Walnyolo, NTV, in Entebbe.